at this point, I've basically completely removed Windows from my entire ecosystem of computing. What I was using Windows for was mostly gaming. And now I am fully and completely on the Linux gaming train, along with my software development journey and career on Linux. So what I'm using for my workstation is Nobara Linux. So let's get into it. Let's look at some of the details on Nobara and how you might be using it for gaming or software development in the future. Quick little side note, this video is brought to us by nobody but you. Thank you for sticking around. Go ahead, like, comment, subscribe if you wanna support this channel, it really helps out. So here we are on the desktop, we could see Nobara Linux. I'm running this on a slightly older AMD build. This is my desktop tower that I have at home. And before this was dual booting Pop! OS and Windows, and really Windows was only so I could play the occasional game. And I'm not like the biggest gamer in the world, but I do like to play an RPG. Uh, Baldur's Gate 3 was incredible. You get the point. So uh, this also exists though, as not only a gaming desktop and a really fantastic gaming desktop at that, but also as my sort of personal software development workstation. So on here, I have a bunch of stuff for software development that I use. We have Nix, we have uh, Nix Shell, we have uh, NeoVim, all that stuff. And really, this gives me the whole experience that I typically use when I'm building software, um, mostly in the terminal here, but that's not really what this video is about. Uh, what we wanna talk about is the Nobara experience for uh, gaming, creation, and really as an all around excellent free and open source piece of operating system software. Really in the end, what Nobara is, is just Fedora with a bunch of kernel fixes on it, uh, a bunch of additional software that is bundled with it, like Steam, and uh, with a bunch of additional little packages and quality of life things that don't always come with a, a typical Fedora installation. So Fedora is all the way up to Fedora 40. Uh, the desktop environment that I have here is KDE with KDE Plasma, which is the newest one. Very good, very nice, you know, obviously very smooth, just fine. Um, there's a bunch of different ways you can configure this for your desktop environment. We won't get into that. That's a whole religious war on itself. But Nabara Linux gives you a bunch of stuff, a bunch of third-party packages and pieces of software that make gaming and creation so much simpler. Um, if you go to nabaroproject.org, you can see a bunch of the bug fixes and gaming-oriented things. Probably the first like 100 things are just kernel patches and kernel updates, uh, but then a bunch of general improvements, improvements to the NVIDIA drivers, improvements to video codecs, which is huge. If you've ever been on Linux and trying to work with video codecing or encoding, pain in the neck. Uh, Blender fixes, DaVinci Resolve, OBS Studio, which uh, I'll just bring this over here. Uh, I have set up and just worked out of the box. It's so nice. Oftentimes is a huge pain in the neck to actually get going on Linux. Uh, Wine is included, Proton, uh, Proton installers. So you can get Proton GE, which is the glorious egg roll variant of Proton, which Surprise, surprise, this Linux distribution, Nobara, is built and uh, and created by Glorious Egg Roll, so you know it's mm, so good. Uh, Flatpak is included, which is really nice. Let me pop open another terminal here. Uh, Flatpak, uh, there we go, no command specified. But this gives us the default registries and repositories for including Flatpak packages. So if I open up the little discovery software thing here, most of what's included in here is Flatpak stuff. There's, I mean, there's tons of stuff. I mean, let's look for, I don't know, an email client or something. Um, bunch of different pieces of software from a bunch of different things. Let's go to Thunderbird. And I could see right up here that this will install it from the official Flatpak, uh, uh, Flatpak hub. So this gives you access to a ton of software right in the discovery, like so easy. You don't have to pop open the terminal. You don't have to do any of that. There's this discovery utility right here that gives you a bunch of software easily discoverable and installable right from there. Uh, very good, very excellent, love that. And while we're over here, I'll just pop open this uh, welcome to Nabarro little application from Gloria Segrol on the distro. And this kind of walks you through a bunch of little things and we'll pop open when you first install it. First steps, you definitely want 
you know, each of these update your system, use the system updater here that uh, comes with Nabarro 40. Um, and then the, uh, the drivers, the uh, GPU drivers. If I launch this, uh, this is really, really nice. It automatically detects my GPU and just gets me the right driver automatically. Um, much easier said than done. I've had to work with Linux drivers before. Um, I worked on a Linux based operating system before. Getting driver versions right like this is really, really hard. So uh, hats off to the Nabarro project uh, maintainers. Very, very good. And a bunch of other little things in here, like the recommended additions. It wants you to have a bunch of stuff that you can install right from here. This one is really important for me, installing Caden Live so I can actually edit a video when I'm done recording it. The OBS stuff, Discord, et cetera, et cetera. A bunch of other little things. Um, it just walks you through it. I mean, it's about as simple as it could be. On top of KDE, um, there's also a GNOME variant, so you can get that for your desktop if you want. Um, but it just it just works. It just works and is very, very nice. One of the things that I'm gonna recommend that you absolutely, absolutely go with in Nobaro is this little Proton Plus application that comes bundled with it and enables you to again, install and upgrade Proton GE, which is a, a basically the compatibility layer between Steam, Windows applications, really Windows games that were built for Windows, and your actual Linux environment, your Linux desktop, your Linux PC. Without Proton, none of this would work. Uh, Proton is an excellent piece of software. And if you didn't know, Valve mostly maintains Proton. It's a bunch of little bits and bobs from different things that all kind of comes together as one Uber package to enable Linux-based gaming really with the, the Windows compatibility layer to actually get into the Linux system calls and all that stuff. Maybe a little too into the weeds with all that. Obviously, they have a huge vested interest because the Steam Deck is a Linux-based piece of hardware. So uh, Steam Deck with Proton and then all these Windows games, it just kind of works. Um, but there are often problems in normal Proton, but Proton GE, which again is Glorious Egg Roll's uh, fork of Proton, um, mm, is just so good. I mean, it just it just makes things um, oftentimes just, just work out of the box. And it's, it's so, so excellent. So um, one other thing I'll say, uh, go look up Glorious Egg Roll. Please, please find his Patreon uh, because he's been doing a lot of incredible work enabling the Linux community to have um, not only Nabarro, Proton GE, but a bunch of other little things uh, that just enable some great stuff for the Linux environment. So what I was getting at with this Proton Plus little application is you can actually install very easily Proton GE from here. So with Steam, uh, we can install Proton GE. I think if I come all the way, where am I? Uh, I th okay, so I'm on Proton 9.5. Uh, there's a 9.11. So what I can do is just do a little install right here. Um, I didn't even know I was behind on the Proton version, but it's going to do an install. That's great. And then I can go into the Steam settings and actually enable Proton GE for, uh, for that. The installation of Proton GE is done. So then here we are in Steam. And what I want to do is come to settings. I want to go to compatibility right here. And then under compatibility, I want to run titles with and I want to run titles with the new Proton that I just installed. Okay, there we go. I had to actually restart Steam <laughs> so that it would pick up this new version of Proton GE. So we have GE, Proton, 9.11, and that will also require a restart. Steam is shutting down. And here it is, just restarted. Why don't we boot up a game and actually see how we do with the new Proton GE layer? Um, let's see, why don't we do The Witcher 3? Sure, let's play that. One other thing that I really, really love about Nobaro is that it just works with controllers. This is a Nintendo Switch Pro Controller, and Nobara comes with a bunch of really, I guess, controller compatibility layers, which then give you the the hardware driving for these controllers um, and that's sort of a link between like you know there's a bunch of compatibility layers for controllers within steam anyways uh, but again it's so great it just works um, i also have a ps5 controller that just works when i plug it in um, good stuff i love it okay here we are finally in the game and had to process some shaders love that for us uh, again with the controller um, it just works look at Geralt. Um, look at all these shenanigans going on around and stuff. Um, and it works. It works 
really, really well, honestly. Uh, surpassed my expectations, honestly, for um, an older AMD version. Whoa. Uh, AMD desktop with uh, an older AMD GPU, Ryzen 5, etc. Um, and it just it just sort of works. So again, that's really Nobara in a nutshell. It's enabled me to really get away from kind of the nasty Windows ecosystem and what it's become and trying to, you know, obviously any game is going to work on there, but just trying to stay away from some of the weird spyware features that Microsoft has been pushing on there. So I definitely recommend you give Nabara a try. Uh, definitely, definitely use Proton GE as your compatibility layer in Steam. Use the Proton Plus application to get the newest versions of Proton GE. Um, yeah, and enjoy. It's a very, very good desktop. Um, I think a huge, huge step forward for Linux gaming, um, as well as being uh, just a great desktop environment with KDE and Fedora 40. So uh, like, comment, subscribe, share it around. Uh, thank you, everybody, and I will catch you in the next one. Peace.